Hello, Colas. Welcome back to Viva Barca and welcome to the home of everything Barcelona, where we are going to be discussing on the latest transfer stories. We are going to start with Sergio Nodes, as it has been reported that Barcelona have reached full loan agreement with AC Milan over the 21 year old right back. We are going to be discussing on that as we move ahead. Then, secondly, talking about Martin Bradwright, it has been reported that the Barcelona striker has been offered to Derby rivals Espanyol by his entourage. Player is now open to a move. We are also going to be discussing on that. So, guys, as we get right into it, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure to hit the subscribe button, turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Give the video a like and please make sure to watch it right up to the very end. With the closure of the transfer market just around the corner, Barcelona have fast-tracked the sale process of some of their unwanted players as part of their plans to trim their squad by the end of the month. Sergio Des has been identified as one of the players deemed unwanted by Xavi Hernandez, who is not happy with the defender's lack of progress at the Camp Nou. For the majority of the summer though, FC Barcelona have struggled to find suitors for the American international but that has changed in the final few days of the transfer market, with Des now becoming a top target for several clubs, including AC Milan. As a matter of fact, Des could soon be closing in on a move to San Siro if reports from Fabrizio Romano are to be believed. The clubs have already reached full agreement and personal terms with Des are being discussed now. The reliable transfer expert release reports that AC Milan are in advance talks to sign the Barcelona right back on loan deal. The Rossoneri have emerged as a late shooter for the defensive ace, who appears to be keen on sealing a move away from Camp Nou in an attempt to revive his career. AC Milan could prove to be an ideal destination for the player or for the club, um, you know, have proven to be extremely successful under Stefano Pioli. Amid mixed feelings about Alessandro Florenzi and David Calabria, the Italian giants may also fancy the addition of a new right back by the end of the month. Death to that end fits the bill perfectly. The Barcelona star adds pace and dynamism out on the flanks, which could go a long way in shoring up Inter Milan's offensive game, especially with Theo Hernandez offering his usual services on the opposite flank. As far as Barcelona are concerned, Desi's exit could open the opportunity for the club to bring in a new face in the right back department. Hector Bellerin has emerged as one of the potential suitors, though Xavi remains keen on signing top target Juan Foyt as well, but now looks impossible. At long last, Barcelona look to have a solution for Sergio Desi's future. AC Milan have entered the picture and in the Latest development, they have reached a full agreement, a loan agreement with AC Milan for Sergio Des. Des have had a very turbulent season at FC Barcelona so far, of course, having been able to feature in any game since La Liga started. So it was imperative for Barcelona to look for a suitor for Des so that he can get some valuable game time. So Serie A Giants AC Milan have shown interest to the extent of reaching full agreement already with FC Barcelona for the loan for the right back. So let's see how it's going to look like. Barca were hoping for a permanent transfer initially, but that is not the case as it stands. But a loan deal is better than actually doing nothing. But nothing about the loan has been really been disclosed. Talking about the percentage of salary that Barca will need to pay and the percentage that AC Milan will pay for the player. So let's see how this is going to look like. I think Sergio Des will be very open to such a move, you know, given as he has not been playing games. And uh, when we consider that the World Cup is around the corner, he would like to go somewhere that he can have playing time so that he can future for the World Cup, right? So let's see. At least this will really facilitate a new right back coming to Barcelona, you know, in today's deadline day. We've we'll been talking about a lot of right backs, but it seems as though Barca have not, have not really concentrated on one. Juan Foyt, that was Barca's top choice, is now injured for two months. So let's count that one out. Um, Thomas Mounier of Borussia Dortmund as well. The deal is even more complicated because Dortmund don't want to sell and the player is deemed expensive by Barcelona. 
Hector Bellerin is there, but it seems as though Barca are not too keen on Hector, which definitely I think he could have been a better choice given his experience and of course he's a reliable player. Looking at his loan spell at Real Betis last season, Hector Bellerin was outstanding, but even though Ch um, Arsenal does not count on him anymore, I don't know if Barca are are scared that the player might disappoint them which i definitely don't think that would be the case i've been talking about the new guy julian arajo from la galaxy as fabrizio reported that Barca are eyeing him for the right back position this deadline day so it remains to be seen who Barca decides to bring at the camp now but let's expect any surprise then on to the next story of discussion in an interesting turn of events it seems martin breadweight could continue in barcelona but not at FC Barcelona. Radio Marca reports, as relayed by Mundo Deportivo, that the player's entourage has offered him to derby rivals Espanyol. Surprisingly, after an entire summer of rejecting offers, this one has turned his head. Martin Bradway is in fact open to joining them, as it would mean living and playing in Barcelona. The player owns a ton of businesses in and around the city and is a billionaire. His business demands are also one of the reasons why he did not want to move away from the Catalan capital. Previously, it was reported that the likes of Rayo Vallecano and Real Sociedad were strongly linked with a move for the player, but neither of the two, among others, have materialized any further. That said, any potential exit for the player depends on the termination of his contract. He wants to be paid in full for his two years left on his contract why Barca seem unwilling to pay him anything more than one year's dues. Greek giants AEK Athens are also pursuing the Danish international signature but are in no rush as the transfer window ends on 15 September in Greece. Meanwhile, they have inquired about the transfer cost from both parties, Breadway and FC Barcelona. After a long struggle to get rid of Martin Breadway, it seems as though the player is now very open to leaving. As today is deadline day, um, he knows very well that he has no playing time at FC Barcelona and his time at the World Cup might be threatened. So, he's offered now to Derby rivals Espanyol according to new reports. His agents have offered him there and they are saying that the player is now open to a move to play there. So, he will still be in the city of Barcelona but not at Barcelona, right? So, interesting. He's a businessman and that could have also played a key role for him opening to join Espanyol because his businesses are really found in the city of Barca. And that's why one thing that has made him to be locked down to even leave Barcelona is the fact that he has a lot of businesses there and, you know, going somewhere else will really make things so difficult for him. So, up, um, Espanyol, that is still in the city of Barca, who is our derby rivals, you know, the player is so open to joining them because it will not have any issue. He will still be staying in the same house and everything like that. So, let's see how things are going to look like. But from the way things are, Martin Bradweight will officially leave FC Barcelona in today's deadline day. So, guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.